everybody. This is Ernie's Corner. We have award-winning creative director and designer Ernie Sheffalo with us. And Ernie, we were talking about Anvil cases. Now, you know what comes to mind for me? The Roadrunner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what's going to make it come even closer top of mind for you when I tell you the name of Anvil cases before it became Anvil cases? And it was called Acme Pack. Oh, now that is a great <laughs> distinction. No wonder. <laughs> yeah, it was in, in uh, 1952, the Villas family started a crate company uh, because there were a lot of things being shipped and crates weren't really that good. I mean, things would get busted up and stuff. And so this family started this crate company and they made really good crates. It was called Acme Pack. And, and, and I... And I it, the same thing came to my mind, too. I think of the Roadrunner. But they, uh, you know, obviously they weren't able to capitalize on that because of trademarks and stuff like yeah. that. But Acme Pack was a pretty successful company. And they made mainly wooden crates, okay, for shipping. And uh, two, the guy had two sons. I think he had two sons and a daughter. Anyway, both sons were musicians. They were guitar players, okay. And they, they were in Los Angeles and in the valley and uh and so the both of them were doing studio a lot of studio work these two guitar players brothers and um in those days guitars had a fabric bag that you put your instrument in and you know and it wasn't very sturdy and it would get beat up and so these two brothers went to the father and said hey look why don't you make us a case for our guitars so that's where the first anvil cases started. They were cases that he made, and they still look the same today. And everybody else has ripped them off. I mean, they all, when you line all the different, and there's Gator, there's Odyssey, and A&J, A&S, I've worked on most of them because of the, 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 the roots, the seeds that we planted with anvil. And they were really the first breakout company to, you know, uh, Acme started it. But it really, uh, it really was the brainchild of a guy named Wayne Thompson, who was a CPA. And we had met him. I think we actually did a logo for his company, the CPA. And we became friends. And he, he really loved music. And he wanted to get into other stuff. So he bought Anvil Cases uh, in uh, probably the, in like 1970s, the mid-70s, 75, 76. And we 